In the unfolding drama at Red Bull Racing, the spotlight has unexpectedly shifted to Helmut Marko, following revelations that could significantly impact the team's internal dynamics. This development comes in the wake of a contentious investigation involving team principal Christian Horner, adding a new layer of complexity to the situation, just days after the female employee behind the allegations against Horner was suspended, attention has now turned to the team's motorsport advisor. The 80-year-old Marco is now under investigation by Red Bull for potential media leaks related to Horner's case, according to motorsport.com. Marco, in a conversation with Austrian broadcaster ORF, acknowledged the precariousness of his position. When asked if he would be with the team in Australia, Marco said, I'll put it this way, it's difficult to judge, or let's put it this way, ultimately, I'll decide for myself what I do. The theoretical possibility always exists. He further commented on the need for unity and focus within the team, especially given the demanding schedule of the World Championship. I think it's such a complex issue. Again, we want peace in the team. This World Championship will be difficult enough with 24 races, and we have to concentrate on that. After the qualifying session on Friday, Marco spoke to Sky Germany, where he said, I have another conversation tomorrow, and then we'll see, but everything has to be right so that I want to continue working there. With the investigation being so shrouded in secrecy since February, Red Bull's current engine partner, Honda, has also expressed a desire for a transparent account of the events, a spokesman of the Japanese company told the BBC. Marco talked more about the situation around Honda, saying, that's internal, but they want a clear statement about what really happened, he shared. Marco has said that he'll be talking to his direct supervisor about his future. My responsible supervisor is Oliver Mintzlaff. With Oliver Mintzlaff and Franz Watzlawick, the CEO partner responsible for the beverage division, both in Saudi Arabia, the forthcoming discussions could have significant implications for Marco's future and the overall direction of Red Bull Racing. This whole saga with Helmut Marco at Red Bull Racing takes on an added layer of significance when considering its potential impact on Max Verstappen's future with the team. The bond between Marco and the Verstappen camp is pretty well known, making Marco's position within Red Bull not just an internal spat, but something that could potentially decide the future dynamic of the team. The three-time world champion Max Verstappen now finds himself at a critical point in his career, tied to Red Bull Racing with a contract reportedly worth $50 million annually until 2028. However, the stability of this arrangement hinges on a unique release clause directly linked to Marco's ongoing presence within the team. This clause underlines the intrinsic value Marco brings to Red Bull, not only in terms of his strategic acumen, but also in maintaining the loyalty of their leading driver. Marco, who's been with the team since its inception in 2005, along with Christian Horner, has publicly acknowledged the importance of swiftly resolving the current uncertainty. He has highlighted Verstappen's Marco, stressed that Verstappen is the strongest asset that Red Bull Racing has, and one that the team cannot afford to lose. Max is certainly the strongest asset that the team has. There is no faster driver at the moment, and if we were to lose him, it would be an incredible loss. Because, of course, there are also an incredible number of mechanics, including engineers, who are all working incredibly hard for Max. I think it's quite logical and clear that Max is the most important part of the team. Now the team's star driver has also come out and made his stance on the situation pretty clear. Speaking to the press after taking pole at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix on Friday, Max spoke clearly about his feelings on the current situation. It's very important that he stays within the team, including, of course, everyone else, because, you know, it's a whole team effort, Verstappen said of Marco's predicament. And it's very important that we keep the key people together, because I feel like if such an important pillar falls away, that's also what I've said to the team. That is not good for my situation as well. For me, Helmut has to stay, for sure. He has built this team together with Dietrich Matiskitz from day one, and he's always been very loyal to the team, to everyone within the team, to make sure that everyone would keep their positions already from back in the day, Verstappen said of Marco. It's also very important, of course, that you give the man a lot of respect for what he has done. That comes back also to loyalty and integrity. So, yeah, for sure, it's important that he stays part of the team also for me.
First, Appen's comments come at a time when Red Bull has faced criticism both inside the paddock, the media and even its own partners for its handling of the investigation into Christian Horner, with many feeling the team's approach has been less than transparent. In light of these developments, Verstappen's recent comments have undoubtedly set off alarm bells within the team. This situation has escalated to a critical point, marking a potentially catastrophic moment for Red Bull Racing. Verstappen's perspective, especially his remarks about Marco, diverges significantly from his previously neutral stance on the Horner issue. Verstappen himself has tried to maintain a focus on racing, emphasising his commitment to performing on the track despite the ongoing turmoil within his team. For my side, and I think from what I can see from the mechanics and the engineers, we are fully focused on the car and the performance here during the weekend, Verstappen told the press. And that's how it should be, I think, and that's what we continue to do. Because it's not our business. We're not particularly involved in that. And we are here, we are paid to do our job, and that's what we are doing, and that's also what we love doing, you know. So, that's what we're focusing on. The possibility of Red Bull losing Verstappen is a looming threat that the team cannot ignore. The initial races of the 2024 season, and even in previous seasons, have made it clear that Verstappen is a key factor in Red Bull's competitive edge, rather than the merits of the RB20 car alone. While Perez has shown strong performances, the gap to Verstappen highlights the Dutch driver's crucial role in the team's successes. With such statements, Verstappen does little to refute speculation that he could leave Red Bull for Mercedes if Marco is actually kicked out or persuaded to resign. Marco said the recent chaos within the Red Bull garage has been further fueled by Jos Verstappen's explicit criticisms of team principal Christian Horner. Verstappen Sr. has not shied away from vocalising his desire for Horner's exit, attributing the team's internal discord to Horner's leadership, as he reportedly told Racer.com. Joss accuses Horner of adopting a victim stance while allegedly being the root cause of the turmoil. Following the upheaval at the Bahrain GP, Joss has opted out of the Saudi Arabian GP paddock, citing commitments to the Rally de Hanut. Amidst this, Mercedes Toto Wolff has hinted at an interest in bringing Max Verstappen on board. We have one seat available in 2025 and 2026, he says in an interview with ORF. But Wolff believes Max will drive where there is the fastest car, and that is the Red Bull today. The Silver Arrows team principal has been in touch with Max's father recently, with the pair being spotted together last weekend. We've been talking to each other for 10 years since Max joined Formula One. I have a good relationship with Joss and also with Max. But that doesn't mean that we would now see a change on the professional side in the short term. Wolf has also jokingly suggested that Helmut Marko, should he part ways with Red Bull, could fill the void left by Nicky Lauda at Mercedes. We're missing our old mascot anyway, then we'll just use Helmut. He's age appropriate. He doesn't have a red cap, but then he'll come to us grins Wolf. Helmut is not a child of sadness and was or is our favourite enemy, but he is a real racer. If Helmut is lost to the team, it will certainly be a loss for Red Bull and for the team. So, what do you think?